Okay, we've got a house, guys. This is good. 607. What does this say? 037, the morning tree? Whoa! This is different. One six one five one four zero six zero four. I thought it might be the same as uh, as the other one. Any video that we see is always of the observatory with the gates open. As we know, the gates are closed. Whoa. Did you just hear, like, sirens or something? She is, like, really hovering around this place. Yeah, the first digit is significant, but I really think that... I really think they are referencing letters in the alphabet. Wendy? Whoa, Wendy, fuck. Wake up. Wendy, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, but if he's on the radio, I can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. There's a lot of people, like, looking for Stephen. They obviously really trust him, right? So... Could be. Now, we've seen these references before. Look at this. These are all just numbers. Eighteenth, seventeenth, sixteenth, and then degrees zero through minus fifty. So, yeah. So, Luckless, your point about how all of the first numbers are significant, it leads me like, I agree, but I think these have to be letters, and the reason they have to be letters is because we've only seen a maximum of t of uh, two and five. Two five um, takes us to Y, or I guess. 2-5 could be Z or Z, and 0-0 zero, zero would be A. That's- that's what my thinking is, because we've only seen 0-0, zero, zero, uh, and the max is 2-5. So, yeah, all the first numbers are significant, but I think only for that point. Now, the fact is, is we can't figure out what these letters are. Um, if, in fact, 1-1 one, one is the 12th letter, because 0-0 zero, zero would be... A. That would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. But that would be K, K, and then L, M, N. K, K, N. But that still leaves us with... That still leaves us with, um... Two letters that are the same up front. I don't know of any words. Like, it has to be, like... Uh, it has to be E E something, right? Or O or O O something. I'm not sure what the frick. Okay, can't check this radio. Yeah, it's got to be shifted, but we have we have a small word, three letters, and that's really bugging me. That the first two letters are the same. And I don't know of a lot of words like that. Uh, Julie, uh, feel free if you'd like to repost the the letter versions of the numbers. Maybe you could coordinate with Jazz Parks. 
Uh, we are assuming that they're all double digits too, right? That's true. More paint. Bloody thing! Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start, start, you bastard! Come on! So I'm thinking Steven's probably the one making these marks. Hmm. Might be shifted each letter, not each word, so 1111 might not be the same letter. I mean, I guess it could be. Your first one could be your starting point, and then you count 14 from there, or uh, you count the next number from there kind of thing. I also wonder, have we seen any houses that go higher than 25? I don't think that we have. Because, like, why would they have the address on there if it's not important? Steven? Get your pens ready. We got another one coming. And this is Steven's Steven, place, right? Yeah. Your mother. Answer me. What? So Mary is not Steven's Steven. mom, it's Wendy. But Wendy's son went off and died. Maybe she has two sons? My brain is hurting. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this transmission here. Was that eight? One, Were those two zero eights in a row? Zero three. One. Okay, one four zero four zero eight zero three zero one. I'm pretty sure that's a three. One, four, Let's just go outside and check it. <laughs> Oh, it's inside. Oh, that's tricky. You're right, we have had this number before. It was in the first area. Alright, let's go upstairs. This is definitely Steven's house, so I expect to find something in here. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, it's in here. It was coming from upstairs. What have you done, Stephen? Yeah, see. Oh, Kate. He's... He's... He's trying to figure something out here. Whoa. Deep light radioscopy. There must be a logic to the pattern. Yes, tell us. It's shifting in response to me. Yes. It's alive. It's the only explanation. Oh my god. It's shifting in res Oh look, he's got the whole area mapped out. 0607. Chaos theory. Little butterflies or infinity signs. Doctor of Philosophy and Astrophysics. What? I get it, Wendy. So it sounds like they're trying to figure out the pattern as well. And he seems to be onto something. Now, it could be related to the stars, sure, but that seems a little bit complex for my tiny brain. Does anybody figure out that math? Hmm. 
My god. What's radioscopy exactly? Vinny, I'll go check out the front of the car for you, but, um... I've checked out the front of all the cars. Uh-oh. Are you here? I'll go check it again, though. I didn't seem to notice anything. Oh, I can't go this way. Study of radio waves. Okay. It's the examination of x-rays or similar radiation of objects opaque to light. Hmm. Oh, look, he's got the little infinity symbol. Oh, shit. This has to be him who's been painting these things. That pretty much confirms it. Right? Okay, let's go back to see Wendy here. And house number 25, which coincidentally is the highest number that we've seen if they are in fact pairs. Right? So, kind of interesting. Dead bird. Not the first dead bird that we found either. Look. Almost like leading us somewhere. Look, shitloads of dead birds. Sounds like it said, help me. Whoa. That was a weird one. Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the Look at all the birds. coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be alright. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I'm here. Oh, look. I'm down there. This way. Maybe they did end up doing an airstrike. Look at her. Oh, this is her getting raptured. What? Just like Jeremy, and now we have this little scene again. What the hell is going on? Could that be? Did they just nuke the town? Maybe it's not a rapture at all. Maybe everybody just got bombed. Uh oh, this is freaky. Who's going to be next, do you think? Steven, maybe? That would be great. That'll probably start giving us some real pieces to put together here. I just want to say, this is actually way more enjoyable um, because you guys are here like we're kind of figuring this out together whereas if I was doing this strictly for YouTube I don't think I would enjoy it as much because I'd just be I feel like I'm able to bounce ideas off of you guys which is <laughs> considerably better CSC thanks for coming dude really appreciate all the help man what the frick are we going in circles here what the fuck is that?
Oh, here we go. We're on to something. Okay, this is interesting. Holy Pumpkin says, I'm obsessing over this, but if you guys take a moment and look at the Lorenz function in Chaos Theory, you'll see the symbol is exactly that. Okay, hold on. I'm Googling this. Lorenz function. Chaos Theory. Lorenz system? I mean, yeah, it is. It's the, like, butterfly thing. It's a system of ordinary differential equations. First studied by Edward Lorenz. It is notable for having chaotic solutions for certain parameter values and initial conditions. It's good, I understand some of those words. In particular, the Lorenz attractor is a set of chaotic solutions to the Lorenz system, which, when plotted, resemble a butterfly or a figure eight. So you're on to something. We've seen these in, um... In some of the paintings and stuff, too. Let me see if I can just... Share something here. See? This is what I'm looking at. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. I mean, I don't think that's immersion breaking, to be honest. I think that's like research that if you were in this situation, you'd be looking up, you see the books on chaos theory, you'd be looking that shit up. Yeah, actually, Luckless, that's a great point. You guys have been, pardon my French, but effing awesome. Uh, you guys have been like, this is, this is the best streaming experience I've had. I've had great ones, but this is by far the best. Super fun, super fun group. Can you guys just come back every Sunday exactly at 3 p.m. and we'll just have our own little party. That'll be great. Frank! Oh, wow, okay. Didn't expect to be Frank. Uh, now, Frank, to my understanding, is Mary's husband. Les Ferry um, could be in the past before the bombs went off. Our character, that's possible. All right, let's check out our map here. Holy shit. Okay, so in Appleton's farm, we have... S I should actually be noting this. We have six butterfly things. Lorenz symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have one that's at the windmill, for sure. And one by the lookout point. So does that mean we should have six unique sets of numbers then? That's what I'm thinking. I was gonna end the stream at 6, but uh, I'm really into this, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go till 7. Which means less time to do all the other recording I need to do, but... Uh, at this point... Whatever. Oh, wow. Oh, we can go over those ones, okay. Frank is Wendy's brother. Okay. I done my time. They shouldn't keep on punishing me. Reese? Some folk won't let go, Reese, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. Son. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns her back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. <laughs> You're Everybody about knows about Liz. You. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob, nose, head. Got it. And steer clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, Sam Baker. Socket spanner, and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on. Oh. 
Okay, well. So, his son is named Reese. That's a cool name. So yeah, when they have these little steps here, you can just walk right over them. That's cool. Okay. I had seen those before, but I just assumed we wouldn't be able to get through it. I mean, Reese might not be Frank's son. He just says, you know, son is like a, a term. Definitely could be the case. Oh, we've got something. Okay, got it. All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again, and I could see the aurora dancing around Tower 6. At the same time, the headache intensified, and I think I began to hallucinate. Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. Oh, Reese is Lizzie's husband. Okay. And he knows about Steven? That number's a, a repeat as well, by the way. Uh, that was in the first zone. Which means there's there's probably a finite amount of um, words that we have to look up. It's just, maybe they're not words, like... The fact that they're all five pairs is interesting to me. We can use the overlapping codes to decipher, but we don't know how to break it yet. Uh oh. Abyss, Graham. Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12 foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Hmm. Graham's the, uh, the groundskeeper that we met at the very beginning. It could be one long sentence, yeah? Um... I don't know. I don't know if I should even keep speculating on it, because... Until we get some specific clue, it doesn't really matter what the numbers are, because... We can't figure out what it means. It's R-Y-H-S, but I think he pronounces it like Reese. Or Reese, perhaps? Don't tell me I'm trapped in here. Trapped with the hay bales. Oh god, no. Here we go. There's the windmill. We know we have a butterfly thing over by the windmill, for sure. I'm not following the light at all, but it's... Frank's light is significantly less annoying than Wendy's. There's definitely something happening here. You never mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. The cows. On the way back, and they were fine. We heard about that before. I woke up this morning, and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all around the Reekin. And Dr. Wade the reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Max said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Set the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? 
Yeah. I don't know about that. I am sorry. I don't know about that. Cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So that's cool because we had heard about that previously. See ya, Halunia. Thanks for coming. It's interesting that the, the bugs are still here, but the cows aren't. Okay, we've got a little path leading upwards here. I lost our Frank, but... Also, in each of the areas, we had uh, unique sounds, right? We had... Uh... We had the bells in the first one. Then we had the train. I imagine this is going to just take us back to where we were. Yeah, because we came from over here. This is just another way around. Let's uh, let's see where this path leads us. Oh, is Reek in a real place in Shop Shropshire? Oh, I hear a phone. Up here of all places. Is this the lookout? We're close. There is supposed to be something over here, so... Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There's got to be another way in. Oh, no. Uh, there aren't infinity symbols on every map, Weekend Ring. Uh, it's only, like, some of the maps that have them marked. Uh, but then you use the other maps to kind of... Help you get your bearings straight. So, Lucky Lorenz. Nice name. Uh, these are all 5x2 patterns. A bit unlikely they'll translate to five-letter words. Agreed. I'm thinking the letters are keys to some other system. Something that uses five letters as a measure. We need to start thinking about things that take five letters as input. So, it's not like... It's not phone numbers. Um, it's not coordinates. Okay, how am I going to answer this goddamn phone? Should I continue down this path? Oh, wait a sec. What if... what if... Oh no, maybe not. I'm thinking like, um... I don't know what that alphabet's called, but it's like what uh, military police use, like Tango, Roger, Delta... Um... All of that. Alpha, Bravo. A lot of those are five letters. A lot of those are five letters. Okay, I'm not really finding another path through here. Now we're just back to this. Yeah, we were in those hay bale section before. The phonetic alphabet, yeah. Hi! Whoa! Where were we, you? Jeez, what the bloody hell are we doing? <laughs> what are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock uh -oh. your bloody block off, son. I need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Still up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way! Okay. I'm glad we came back to see that. Um... Bailey, uh, it's a good point that Charlie is six letters, but we do have this one off group of numbers that's three letters, which leads me to believe that they don't all happen to be five, but if you think about that phonetic alphabet, like the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, I don't know what G is, um, a lot of them are five letters. Like a significant portion. Okay, I don't know how to get in here, so maybe somehow we go around this rock. Because I cannot get in here. 
Even though the phone is ringing, which pisses me off immensely. Is it golf? I think it's golf. You're probably right. I don't know what H is either. NATO alphabet? Yeah, that makes more sense. Sounds cooler anyways. My mom knows all of them. I don't know if she's in the stream, actually. I'm just gonna see here. Mama Bear, I know you're in the stream. I don't know if you're actually watching. But, um, if you guys see a message from Christine SPS, she knows, uh, she knows that alphabet. Okay, I'm trapped in here, and it doesn't appear there's any way to get into that ringing phone, which is pissing me off. We will need a key to the ciphers. Thankfully, we have all of the unique codes, uh, so far, I think. I'm gonna just try to get onto the main road here. There's the windmill. We can check the car. 